You have an update for you tonight. An arrest made following a stabbing in five points last week. 56 year old James Lee Jackson now faces aggravated battery charges and he's being held tonight without bond. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says Jackson confessed to stabbing 25 year old Jordan White on May the 20th. White survived some critical injuries to both his kidney and his liver. First Coast News reporter Bethany Anderson joins us live tonight and Bethany Jackson has a history of violence and he was previously diagnosed with schizophrenia. That's right. That was actually released in a 2014 police report. Now in that arrest, he was he was charged for stabbing his brother with a small pocket knife. But out here, business owners tell me better night is the reason why they now want to find more about mental health resources, and they also want an increased police presence out here as well. I don't think that it was anyone's fault because it was so random. Last week, Sherelle Love said she believed the man that stabbed her boyfriend, 25 year old Jordan White, was mentally unstable. It doesn't really sound like he's in his right mind. A police report shows that man is 56 year old James Jackson. He became a suspect after police linked his car near the crime scene, but officers couldn't find him at his home. He was Baker acted on May 23rd for threatening to harm others and arrested on May 28th. I know as a business owner, I personally do not feel unsafe. Kelly Pickard co-owns Alewife in Five Points and says the stabbing does not reflect the area. I think it speaks to the broader issue of finding ways and how we as a community do help when we do see someone that is potentially has the capability of harming themselves or harming someone else. Witnesses tell me they saw Jackson showing off his knife and called JSO 30 minutes prior to the stabbing. While the sheriff's office has neither confirmed or denied this, Pickard says it would be nice to have them nearby. The bars that are open later um, will maybe need to have a conversation about if we want to look at what the opportunities are to keep a cop in the neighborhood just so the response time um, is a little bit quicker. Jackson's first court appearance is June 19th, and there's no telling whether or not his mental health will impact that hearing. Reporting live in Five Points, Bethany Anderson, First Coast News, on your side.